So you've probably got big goals for yourself, but have you ever considered that you can actually help the future you make those things become a reality? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hey, you have found Free Mama TV. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. In today's video, we are going to talk to all my wannabe virtual assistants out there. The most popular videos right here on Free Mama TV have been to you amazing mamas out there who want to start your own business. And you know that the lowest barrier for entry is starting a virtual assistant business. Well, what I want to break down in today's video is how you can actually do future you a real solid by getting started now. And I'm going to break down this concept in today's video, but it's a really interesting process. And I've got a couple of like tangible examples of how I've really integrated this into every part of my life and how you can start doing that now as well so that you can transform everything you've got going on and having the life that you want to be living using this this method. So my family just got back from a week long RV trip where we also announced that we are a little bit crazy and we are going to be going out in our RV soon full time. By the way, if that's interesting to you and you want to know how I'm going to be homeschooling kids and traveling around the country and running a virtual business and staying married and keeping our pets alive, let me know down in the comments below and we will figure out how we can make that content happen as we are on the road for you. But on our way back, I was listening to an audiobook by Dr. Benjamin Hardy called Be Your Future Self Now. Now I've heard of this concept before, but listening to the audiobook, even just the intro was totally mind blowing because he told the story of fellow YouTuber, Mr. Beast, who you've probably heard of at this point because he has millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of views, which is amazing. But what you might not know about Mr. Beast is that he actually started as a little teeny bopper making videos. And what really set off his future trajectory is when he started making future videos back to himself as a teenager from like one year, five year, 20 years, you know, into the future of where he was at. He was imagining his future self and the life that he had created. And through this process of doing this and imagining where he wanted to be and what it was going to feel like and look like and all, and you know, how many YouTube subscribers he had and how much money he was making. And he really like marinated in this idea of what was possible, his actions started to follow suit. They started to line up because he had published those puppies to his YouTube channel and nobody wants to publish video like that and not have done the work. There was some accountability involved. So it got me really thinking about what we do as moms, as people each and every day, and the very tangible impact that it has on what our tomorrow is going to look like. For example, I got back from this RV trip. Like I told you, I just got back and I knew I was going to be tired. We've gone on an RV trip before and it was going to be tired. I knew there was going to be a boatload of laundry to do. There was going to be, you know, 10 schlepping of laundry baskets back and forth from the RV to the house to clear out the food and just all the stuff that, that comes back into our home. So I did a couple of things to set myself up for success. The first thing was I pre-ordered my groceries. Now you might already do this and this might not be revolutionary for you, but for me, sometimes I order them, sometimes I don't, but knowing on the drive back that I would pre-order them and set up a pickup at the exact time that we would be like rolling by to already have that food. It was like, we were ready for dinner. We were ready for everything to go. I'm constantly looking at little things in my life where I can go, how can I do this now? How can I not procrastinate? How can I not wait? Like we don't wait on that laundry when we get back. If you are team, like let the suitcase sit there. When you get back from a trip, you are not doing future self a solid. You are taking care of self right now. Now, staying comfortable. That is not how we're going to grow a business friends. We got to get uncomfortable now so that it's easier for our future self to arrive at the goals that we have. So pre-ordering groceries is kind of a silly example, but it makes the case of like, you know, the next day when I went, when, when we drove by and I got him, it was like, I am so glad that my past self did this because myself now from the future is so grateful that this you know, groundwork has been laid for me. Here's another example. So on the first day of our trip, my computer screen broke. It was one of those situations where I had a six-year-old on me, a dog near me. I was trying to do some work. I slammed my computer shut and one of my little like headphones was stuck in there and the screen 
shattered. I was like, oh my gosh, that's not great. But I actually handled it really super awesome and didn't freak out. Instead, I made an Apple appointment for the day we got home um, to go into the Genius Bar or whatever they call it and figure out what to do. Now, what the best part was is I go in and I'm like, I don't know if I have Apple. I don't even remember. I just know that I need my computer. I run my whole business slash life on my computer. I just need my computer to work. And I took it in. They're like, great news. You have enrolled in Apple care, uh, which means that this is going to cost less than a hundred dollars for you to fix a repair that would have been easily over $600, which is like practically getting to the cost of a new laptop, which is just bananas. That was another example of me going, oh my gosh, past Lauren knew that with the crazy life that I have with three kids and traveling all the time and pets and just stuff happens that something was probably going to go wrong. So I was prepared in the past for my future self today to walk in, have it repaired in a week, easy peasy. So what I want you to think about before we dive into some tangible steps about how you can apply this concept of the future self now to your business that you want to start right now is that I am constantly feeling grateful that past Lauren set future Lauren up for success. And if you can do that, if you can approach every day, knowing that what you do today truly impacts your future, I think that you're going to start making some different choices. So now we're going to talk about how do you do this? If you want to start a virtual business this year, or you have any type of goal or dream that has not become a reality yet, how are you actually going to make this happen? Okay. The first thing that we have to do is we have to step back from the moment to moment. And I get it. If, especially if you're a parent with young kids, like we go into survival mode, like I've been there. I've been there when my kiddos were really little. Um, I've been there recently with mental health stuff, like living moment to moment is exhausting and it is very difficult to get out of. However, it's also very unlikely that you're going to land on your future goals or your business is just going to be become successful with the clients and revenue that you want. If you're constantly just focused on the thing right in front of you. So the first step is we've got to step back from the moment to moment decisions right in front of us. Those are urgent, but they are not important, if that makes sense. And we want to think more broadly about what you're actually going to need in the future. What does future you, again, thinking about your business or thinking about your family or a trip you want to take or whatever that thing is, what are you going to want or need three days from now? What are you going to want or need three months from now? What are you going to want or need three years from now? And what is that actually going to look like? Again, just like Mr. Beast and the example from Dr. Benjamin Hardy, like he thought about it. He thought about how many YouTube subscribers he had. He thought about the revenue that he was making off of those subscribers. He thought about the types of videos that he was going to be making at that point in his career. When you think about the idea of starting a business three months from now, three years from now, how much money are you making? How many clients are you serving? What does that business model look like for you? How many days are you working each week? How much vacation time are you taking? What vacations are you taking? Where do you live? Really think about all of these different things. And I'm not encouraging you to necessarily go make a vision board. I have thoughts and feelings about that as well, but we want to think about what are the actual steps that are going to help me get closer to that. Look at it like a North star or like a guiding light towards your goals. It's not even about whether or not that thing comes true three years from now. It's about knowing what direction you're heading and how you need to show up today in your life to get you one step closer towards that path that you want to be on. Number two is to act as if, and this is a little bit different than faking it till you make it. I think when you fake it till you make it, you feel like a fraud. You feel um, maybe a lack of connection or a lack of integrity because it feels unlike you. I don't want you to not be you. I just want you to show up as the future version of you. So Lauren, a year and a half ago, knew that Lauren in the future was going to break her computer somehow because it was inevitable with the chaos. So she knew that we needed insurance on that because we didn't want to have to pay for the laptop twice. Like we wanted that cheap work to take care because this is an important asset to us. Was I thrilled a year and a half ago about paying more and buying that insurance? insurance plan. I highly doubt it. I'm sure I like rolled my eyes in the back of my head. And yet I knew that, you know, future me took care of her things and, and to the best of her ability and wanted to make sure that she protected the assets that were most important to generating revenue, which I run my whole business on my computer. Instead of thinking about this, you know, being someone you're not, or feeling like an imposter, I want you to think about what will you wish you would have done 
previously to make your life easier when you actually arrive there. It's not about you know, whether or not you're procrastinating or anything like that. I see a lot of women actually working way too hard, just working really hard on the wrong things. Again, we're trying to solve what's urgent instead of what's actually important. So how can you shift your current actions to respond and behave like that future person would right now? For a lot of women inside of the free mama community, this looks like getting over yourself and putting yourself out there optimizing your social media profiles. We've got a video for that. Um, I also want to invite you to our free and 23 day challenge. It's going to really push you outside of your comfort zone to talk to new people, to build your network, to focus on relationships, but also to learn how to talk about what you do as a business owner and feel like, you know, maybe not comfortable or confident right away doing it, but knowing that your future self does it, like, you can't wait till you're already her. Your actions have to start now by getting uncomfortable. Now you make life easier for your future self. You make that three month, three year vision more likely to come into fruition when you actually do the thing now. So we act as if we act as if we have the confidence of a three-year business owner today. And that is what allows us to show up and do those actions that will get the results that we actually want. Okay. And my third tip for you is a little bit of a gut punch. And I'm sorry that I'm not sorry because I am known for my tough love coaching. Um, but it does come from a place of love because I care about you and I don't want you to just go drink in a bu bunch of fluff and, you know, have people tell you certain things are going to be really easy or that this is the only path to do something or anything like that, because I don't believe any of those things are true. I think that you can build a business that's in alignment with you and, the best version of you, the highest version of you, that future self. And I think that there's only one way to do that. And it's when you actually take extreme ownership for your choices. So whether you choose to act as if, whether you choose to get on board with this concept of helping your future self now or not, you need to understand that whichever path you choose, you will live the life in the consequence of those choices. So your future self, um, as Dr. Benjamin Hardy would say, it's not someone that you just discover, but it's someone that you decide to be. It is a choice and you have to take ownership for your choices. If you want to start a business, if you want to become a virtual assistant, a copywriter, an online business manager, a social media manager, whatever that thing is, or you want to be a millionaire, you know, by the time you're 50 or you want to, you know, buy a house and be able to pay cash and not have a mortgage or pay off all your debt or whatever that thing is, whatever that thing is, that's important to you that made you even get on YouTube today to search for how to do it. You have to take extreme ownership over the fact that how you act will impact whether or not you have that thing. And that is a matter of what you decide to do or what you decide that you will not do. So building a business is hard. The hardest part is getting started. You're already taking those steps right now by getting curious, watching this video, hopefully coming and joining us in the Free Mama community, learning about our Free Mama membership. If you want more hands-on support on the tactical steps, like I mentioned our challenge already, like there's the support is out there. The information's out there. Believe it or not, that's actually not the hard part. You can watch a million videos on YouTube, hopefully starting right here on Free Mama TV, and you're going to learn a ton. But what's actually going to impact what your future life looks like is your ability to figure out what it is that you actually want it to look like, to act as if you are that person today before you feel ready, and taking ownership of what you choose to do or what you choose not to do is ultimately going to decide what your future looks like. Whew, okay. That was probably a lot. That was also kind of heavy. Here's the deal. If you want to become a virtual assistant in 2023, you really just have to decide that that's what you're going to do. Okay. You've got to hit up Google, you know, get your business entity stuff ready, come join our community, get the support that you need to keep moving forward. Start talking about your business. Um, I've also got a free checklist that we can put the link down below. It's all the steps you need to get started to get set up. Again, I'm not here to hoard information. Like information is everywhere. The hardest part is having the support and the courage to actually take those steps forward. So if you want to learn more about how you can find awesome clients and still hang out with your family, I also have a free training. We're just dumping all the goodies inside of this video. So go check out all the links down below. Come be a part of our world and decide what your future world's going to look like. You actually get to determine that with what you decide to do right now. What are you going to do next? Can't wait to find out.